Hi, Amy Baker for Extension Quick Bytes. Today I'm going to talk to you a bit about templates and how to keep them at your fingertips on your computer. So I'm going to start first with our internal um, University of Minnesota template. I downloaded it off of the internet, so I've got it here on my desktop. You can see it there. It says extension template gold dot pptx. So I can see something wrong with this right away, and that's that it's a pptx file, which is just as you'll recognize, the normal PowerPoint. It's not really a template. So we want to first thing we want to do is save it as a template. Uh, save as. I'll just throw it on the desktop. Uh, I'm going to go to this drop down and do PowerPoint template POTX. Okay. And then, um, actually, I already had it because I practiced. So now I have that. It's saved as a POTX. So I will show you something now. I just closed PowerPoint. Now I'm going to come into it just like I would any old day. And under this personal, so it's still not here. There's one more thing we need to do. Under this personal tab, there it is. So I'm going to put this, see there's like a sideways thumbtack. I'm going to click that. That's going to pin it. Now it shows up on my featured template. So I will show you a similar trick with Microsoft Word. So Microsoft Word, I'm going to open. Here is the Word doc template from our, also from our intranet. So this has got a .docx. You can tell it's also not a template. So let's see here. We're going to do file, save as. I'll throw it on my desktop. And I'm going to select from the drop down word template, D O T X. Okay. I'm going to save that. Okay. And there it is as a D O T X. So I'm going to show you the same thing I did with PowerPoint. I'm going to come into it like I would normally come into it under personal. There's that template. I'm going to press the thumbtack. Now it will show up. Uh, it has a funny name. I probably should have renamed it Gen Next underscore flyer. But if I open that, that's that. The advantage of using templates is it's opening, every time I open it, it opens a fresh document. I'm not actually editing the template. So your template will remain intact on your computer. You don't have to worry about re-downloading it every time you edit it, which is um, something that I was having to do. So uh, one more thing I wanted to show you is uh, if you are a Google uh, Drive user, like I am, go into My Drive. You can say New, um, and then what, what I want to make is a doc, but I'm going to show you more from template. So we see that. So here's my templates. So I, you can do public templates. Um, these are pretty crappy. So I always go to University of Minnesota, Twin Cities, Templates, and then you get a, um, typically I want this one, the UMN document template for the web. Use this template. It will also create a fresh version of this document, copy of, you can tell. And it's just got a little header in it, and then um, you can tell that the styles here are all um, the exactly appropriate ones. Uh, the other one from this that I use a lot is this uh, presentation template. Ta-da! Now I'll show you a quick trick just because I can't resist one more tip and then we're done. And that's that in here, um, sometimes if we know we're presenting on a widescreen, like a computer monitor or something, it is nice to have your PowerPoint set up to be the widescreen. So you can do file, page setup, switch it from standard to widescreen 16 by 9. And you can see all it does was it stretches the logo just the teensiest little bit. So otherwise, uh, I like not having the presentation with the black bars on either side. And I think this is um, a handy trick. All right. Thanks for listening.